QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021 Report Header and Footer Formatting. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our Geek Drake Guitars practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down, selecting the open windows list. We're going to be opening up the balance sheet to be considering our header and footer options. Note that the same header and footer options will basically be there in all other types of reports as well. So this will be applicable not only to the balance sheet, but other types of reports. We're going to go to the reports drop down, company and financial. One way you could find the standard balance sheet is to go on down here to the standard balance sheet. Or you can go to the reports drop down to the report center to find the balance sheet. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this screen. I'm going to maximize it like so. We're in the company and financials tab and the standards tab. I'm going to change it to the list view. And then I'm going to scroll down from the profit and loss area to the balance sheet area. So we've got to go all the way past all the P&L stuff, balance sheet stuff, first report, balance sheet standard. That's the one we want. And now it rebooted on myself. So I'm going to do it again, going down here past that to the balance sheet. Here's the one we want. I'm going to go ahead and run the balance sheet standard report, run the balance sheet standard, change the dates up top to 12 31 2 1. Now the header information is going to be up top here. This is going to be the header information. Footer information is down below. We don't see the footer information. They actually kind of hide the footer inter information. But if you do a preview on the print preview, you will see it. So if we went, for example, to print up top and print reports and then went into this little preview uh, scene or, or display, then we're going to see the, the footers, if there are any, down below on the bottom of the page. The footer we have at this point being the page number. So we have the page numbers numbered. I'm going to close this back out. I'm going to close this back out and close out the preview or the print options. Then I'm going to go into customize reports. Customize reports. We're focusing in on the headers and the footers. So I'm going to kind of underline the header and footer option up top as we look through them. So I'm, I'm going to do these, all these options in a second. Let's first look at the right where we just basically have the layout of the header and footer. They'll give you kind of a breakdown up top. Let's just test these out first. I'm going to go, okay, what if we did the left lineup? That's how it's going to line up this way. If you were to actually say, okay, you can kind of see it this way. There it is lined up in that format. Customized reports, header and footer. Let's try the right lineup. It's going to switch those two. It gives you a display here, but it's easier to see to just say, okay, there's that lineup. If we go to the customized reports and go back to the header footer, the center lineup is basically what we had already. That's kind of the standard, what the standard was. So I think the standard and the center are basically the same thing at this point. So if I say, okay, there's back to where we were, basically the standard and the center being the same. Customize reports, back to the header and footer. I'm going to change it back to uh, the standard. Usually the standard's pretty good in terms of the header. Then we have the line items that we can change if we so choose. So the company name, to change the company name, we can do that here. So the company name, Get Great Guitars. If we wanted to put a more formal name or something like that, if it was incorporated, uh, you know, we could put company. If we wanted to make it like a, a report that doesn't have a name, we could delete it or remove the company name, for example, if we want like a generic report. And if we were to say, okay, then it's going to remove the company name. So I'm going to go back to customize reports, go back to the header and footer. Let's turn it back on. So there's our company name. The, the name of the reports, the balance sheet. Now we open the balance sheet report. That's a pretty standard name, unlike kind of like the profit and loss, which we may want to change on the income statement side to the income statement if we prefer that name. Balance sheet's pretty standard, but you might want to change it when we start to customize reports. We can customize the report and make this like a comparative report or make some kind of modified custom report. And then if we made it a comparative report, if we did the modification, which we'll see in a future presentation, we could change it so we can say it's a comparative balance sheet, for example. And that could be a useful turn, uh, item to change in comparative. I'm not sure I spelled that right, but I'm going to, it doesn't matter for our example here. There's the comparative. Then we're going to customize the report again. I'm going to go back to the header and footer. going to change it back to the balance sheet. Uh, that obviously can, can be useful to be able to change that for multiple different reports that you, that you might adjust and then want to basically rename according to that adjustment. Then after adjusting, you can memorize that report with the saved name so that you can distinguish the reports that you will be looking into. Now, the, then the uh, subtitle, subtitle typically being uh, the date here. Now, again, this could be another kind of situation where that might change. If you, if you basically change the terms of the report. So you might have months, for example, instead of just the total. For example, I might say, let's remove this title because it would, shouldn't be as of December 31st if I modify the report. 
For example, if I was to customize the dates and then say this is going to be from 010121 to 123121 and then change it the, from totals to uh, months like so, now I've got a different report and it wouldn't make sense for me to just to say for the year ended because now I've got for each month ended report and I'd have to think up a, a better name, which I don't feel like doing right now, but just to tell you that, you know, we'd name it some something other than as the year ended. Now go back to the total. I'm going to go back to the customized reports and we're going to go to the header and footer. Let's turn that back on. So this is the standard balance sheet where we would basically have those items in place. Then these three items, oftentimes, maybe you're not, you might not want those. I mean, those might be helpful to kind of show somebody, your supervisor or your, your customer, when you made the report. But, it, but other than that, it just seems like added information that's not really relevant to the actual report itself. So oftentimes, and we will be doing this oftentimes, just turning these three things off, removing those three items on the side. And if we say OK, then it would just simply remove those items. I think that's... I mean, to me, that would be like the default. I'm not sure why exactly. You, I mean, most of the time, I would not want that on there if I'm going to give this to somebody else outside. I don't want them to see that I'm working at 2 in the morning or something like that, possibly. But And then we got the print the header on pages uh, after the first page. So that means that this header that's going to be up top, if it runs more than one page long, will still be there. So you can see that on the page layout. So if I said OK and I went to the print item, and I said, I want to print the report. And I want to take a look at the preview of the report. We see the header up top. And on page two, we see the header on top page two. If I don't need the header on page two, because I because I mean, you, you know, it's the same report because it's like stapled together or on the same PDF file. Then you can go to customize report, header and footer, remove that and say, OK. And then we'll take a look at the print preview report. And then say preview and then header up top, header not on second page. So we can close that back out, close that back out. I'm going to go into customize reports, header and footer. I'll turn that back on default. I don't really see a problem with it. You know, most of the time having it there, I don't think it makes the report any longer or anything. You saw that there's still a header kind of section to it. And then the page number, if you want the page numbers on the reports, they can you can change the look and feel of it to a page number that looks like that or like that page number is going to appear on the bottom of the report as we saw so if i close this out we go to the reports we go to the report here and we say preview then the page number is down here now it's a centered page number rather than a left or a right aligned page number so you have a few different options nowhere near like a like a word document or something the kind of page numbers you can put in there but uh, you have your options there so i'm going to customize the report and header and footer and so you can you can have different page numbers i'll put it back to the default you might have an extra footer down here and you might you know put your put your name on it my name on the footer so they know you know who's been working on this thing who put who you know if you leave the timestamp on that you're working at two in the morning and then you uh put your name on it they'll know that you that you're you know make sure that you're the one that printed that thing at two in the morning so then you can obviously hit the report and down below in the preview you'll see the name down here. The name will then appear in the extra footer or some other extra footer. It doesn't have to be your name, anything you want that, you know, you can type anything down there. So then I'm going to go back to the header and footer. I'm going to remove the date and we're going to remo remove the extra footer and then print fo footer on the first page. So you can have the footer on the first page or, or possibly you, you can not have the footer basically on the first page of the report. So I could say that and say okay let's take a look what that looks like print the report report layout preview it no footer on the first page footer on the second page so we only want the foot we like at the foot of the foot of the um financial not on the bottom of the foot of the first page but the foot of the full financial so then we're going to go back to the uh, reports again header and footer I'll, I'll i would typically put the footer on on the foot of each page the first page included unless the first page was just a title page or something like that but that's not typically the case when you're talking about financial reports now then if you want to go back to the basics of all this you just say revert take me back to the basics because i totally messed everything up and that'll pay, get you back to the default settings and i'm going to say okay we're back to the default settings